Congratulations, you have received a Cradle to Eternity Life Binder. This binder is designed to help you maintain all of the important documents in a young person's life. It is also designed to tell the story of their life. Let me walk you through and explain. Let's start at the intro page. The child that this binder is designed for is listed in the big bold letters on the intro page. This binder is their book, it's their story. Let's go into the separate dividers. The very first section is all the personal documents, all the legal type documents, a birth certificate, social security card, visas, any legal type documents, copies of their driver's license when they get older. All of those should be maintained inside sheet protectors inside this section. The next section is a medical section. On the front cover, there's a list of all the immunizations and vaccinations typically recommended from birth till 18. If there's additional vaccinations or immunizations, they can be listed on the back of the front divider page for this section. Inside this section, there's a notepad that's designed for listing every doctor's visit, every medical event in a person's life. From the time they're born, when they go for checkups, uh, if there's a sporting event where they have a broken bone, all of this will be maintained in a chronological manner on this notepad. If there is an event such as a broken bone, that information, the x-rays, all of the information from that particular event would be maintained inside separate sheet protectors inside the same section. The next category is the education section. Everything from your kindergarten grades to your high school grades, your college certifications, and any professional certification that you receive would also be maintained inside this area. The next section is the heart of the life binder. It's the actual life moments. You're going to start off with a frame that's got a notepad that's designed specifically for this person so that when they take their first steps, their first words, if they take a trip to go see uh, their grandparents, all of that information is going to be maintained in a chronological notepad so that you can document everything that that person, all the milestones in their life. When something happens significant in this person's life, you're going to want to write it on the milestones in life frame pad. When that page is filled up, you're going to be able to remove that page and you're going to have a clean page to start filling in. You'll take the page that's filled up, put it inside a sheet protector, and put it inside the life moments section. The next section is the family section. All of the information about the family, maybe a family tree, grandparents, siblings, nephews, nieces, any personal family members that you want to include. It can be chosen family, someone who's very close to you. You would keep all that paperwork inside the family section. The club's affiliations and sports section is just that. It's for all the extracurricular type activities. It may be church events, it may be political, it may be football. Any of that stuff would be maintained inside the club's affiliations and sports. The next section is a financial section. When they're young, when a baby's born, many times a grandparent will open up a savings account so that you can see how the bank account grows over time. There's other uh, financial information. As you get older, you've got your social security statements, retirement plans. Uh, sometimes you'll have a GI bill from the military. There's all types of financials that you need a, a good spot to maintain that paperwork. That would be kept in the financial section. At some point in time, this binder is going to be turned over to the person that it's designed for. When that happens, they're going to have this last section, the personal thoughts section, that they can put their own paperwork, their own thoughts. Maybe uh, when their time comes, when they, when they uh, pass away, maybe they want to be buried with the Bible or maybe some souvenir. Uh, maybe they have some special request or want to leave a message for someone that was close to them. That's just a very personal section that they would take care of on their own after they receive the binder. I hope this helps you to understand how the binder is to be used. Uh, take some time and read through each divider cover. And uh, if you have any questions, contact LifeBinders, and we'll be happy to give you more guidance.